Well, the, the flush chromatography is a very useful technique to um, facilitate the, the separation. So you can get some compounds from the flush. Well, so what you need, um, you need some pre-packed column. So this is a, a pre-packed column. You don't need to prepare it. You can just order it from the company. This is, um, so you can load it with the between 200 milligram and four gram. So it's from the Tilidine society company and um, you need the, the the cartridge this is the cartridge the the cartridge you need to put firstly some silica this is the stationary phase and here you put your sample so it's uh, obligatory to draw to make the the, the the adsorption you need to absorb your uh, your sample on the silica for example if you are using 300 milligram you need to measure 300 milligram then you add some silica gel then you observe it then you can load it here in this cartridge column right and after this is the the system the setup you put your column here the pre-packed column here in the bottom and the, at this part here we put our cartridge right and here we put it uh, we insert this tube then we can uh, drop the pump in and uh, to push the solvent right and uh, what we need to we need to prepare the the rack tube here because you can just uh, you can run it automatically without uh, handle it manually for example uh, you can collect the wh whether if you have a peak it will collect it if you have a, if you're uh, um, if you are going in the baseline baseline so the everything will go to the waste directly here to the waste and if you have a peak so this is automatically but for the most time we try to uh, we make it with uh, ourselves. So here we have, for example, this is an example of solvent. We have here the dichloromethane and we have the ethyl acetate. This is the system that we are using in our here. Uh, we have a gradient system from uh, 0 to 50 percent of ethyl acetate and uh, during 60 minutes. And then we increase until 100. 100 ethyl acetate and here we got our main compound and there, here we have only some impurities we are not interested so our target compound is this one uh, so what else that you need to know well so you need to put your uh, solvent here uh, on the top of your apparatus in order to facilitate the task for the pump because every Every column you have, three, when you will set up your um, the parameter up. Uh, oh, come on. Well, so here we have also the how much the flow rate. For example, 40 ml per minute, right here. So we have here 40 ml per minute. This is the flow rate. Uh, and you have the pressure 20.7 bar uh, so every prepacked column there is a notice here uh, a recommended parameter that you need to insert in your machine right so for example this is the method that we use I'll try to extract it here okay um, as you can see here, here you can write your sample if I'm using the the same uh, the same material uh, the plant material that I'm using I want to separate so I can extract and use the same method if it is if it gave me before a good separation 
and here we have the solvent A, solvent B. This is we have using the hexane, which is the more the the, the lower and the polarity, and here this is the more polar. And uh, what else? Here you can, for example, choose what kind of silica gel. We have different kind. So our uh, the, the in our column here we have the 40 gram, right? This is the 40 gram. So once you choose 40 gram, for example, here, the flow rate it changes automatically. We will you will get, for example, 40 ml per minute. If you choose, if you are working with a uh, only 4 gram, you will need the flow rate will be up will be only 18 ml per minute. And here, as I said, you can choose the the peaks. If you click here, you, it will go automatically. If there is a peak, it will collect it here. If no, it will go to the west. But for us, we try to choose all or none. This is manually, and here it is automatically. You can choose the run length, how much time you need, and uh, what else. If you want, uh, well, if you go to method editor, you can edit your gradient system, for example. And you can choose also your wavelength. So the absorbance of your compound, if, for example, here we choose choose two, 254 and 280, we have here the maximum absorbance. You can also into, um, intensify the peak, for example. If you want to see your peak very good, you can make it times five or 10, it depends. Well, what else? Uh, yeah, this is the, the parameters that we have oh, that's all so the gradient if you edit the gradient you can choose here if you are working with for example um, you start with uh, 1 to 11 then so this is uh, the time and here you, you increase the polarity you can choose whatever you want so we have you have time and here you select only the more parcel solvent you can modify it, you can increase it, for example, or you can work only with uh, isocratic system. You can delete all of these points here. You can delete it if you click here. You can delete it from here. So we can delete everything, and we can choose only an isocratic system. So and, uh, you can choose for here, we will make uh, 40, 40 up. Come on. Yes. Oh no, this is not the gradient. Here, you, you, we need to choose 40 also here. Up. Oh. 40 here, and now we will have a, a, a scratching system. The, the run length in 15 minutes. You can increase it as well. All right. Okay. So I will not save it. No. What else? So you can go also to tools before you begin. Before you start your method you need to go to tools then you need to click on manual control you need to uh, wash the column with the more uh, polar solvent then with the, the the low polar for example if you click here so it will start washing then you use this one and after you can start with metal and here you can uh, choose uh, the solvent uh, it goes where for example through the cartridge the true cartridge is this one. This, the cartridge it will wash your uh, your material as well, or through uh, the column. For example, if you choose the column, it will wash your column, or uh, direct direct waste.